Hello and welcome to the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Order 43 of 2019, restructuring the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports. The Royal Order stipulated the restructuring of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, presided over by His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the following membership. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, 1st Deputy President. Sheikh Isa bin Rashid Al Khalifa, 2nd Deputy President. His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Minister of Finance and National Economy, Minister of Education, Minister of Information Affairs, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Minister of Labor and Social Development, Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, President of Bahrain Antiquities and Culture Authority. Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Women, CEO of Economic Development Board, CEO of Tamkin, CEO of Kuwait Finance House, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, Talal Fuad Kanu, Zuhair Ismail Kazirouni, Tawfiq Ahmed Al Ali. The duration of their membership will be four years renewable. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued a Decree 50 of 2019, restructuring the, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Decree 68 of 2012 and Decree 10 of 2016, on restructuring the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning and the Works Affairs at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning have been abrogated. His Majesty the King issued a Decree 51 of 2019, transferring current Under Secretary of Agriculture and Marine Resources, Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed bin Sultan Al Khalifa, to serve as Under Secretary for Municipalities Affairs. Under Secretary for Municipalities Affairs, Dr. Nabil Mohammed Abdul Fatah will take over as Under Secretary for Agriculture and Marine Resources. Dr. Khalid Ahmed Mohammed Hassan has also been appointed as Under Secretary for Animal Resources at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 52 of 2019, amending Article 1. The Amiri Decree 1 of 1977, establishing the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. Under the amended article, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club shall be under the authority of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning. His Majesty also issued a Decree 53 of 2019, appointing Yusuf Ahmed Abdullah al isa as Chief Executive Officer of the Equestrian Care Authority. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 54 of 2019, establishing the Muhammad bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Diplomatic Academy. The academy will be affiliated with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and it will be managed by an executive director appointed by a decree in the rank of Assistant Under Secretary. The academy will replace the Diplomatic Institute and will have all its jurisdictions and duties. All the staff of the Diplomatic Institute will be relocated to the academy according to their specific job scale, allowances and financial benefits. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 55 of 2019, reorganizing the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 13 of 2019, the addition of some VAT exempted governmental entities' revenues concerning listed in the table associated with Edict 43 of 2018 regarding VAT exempted governmental entities' revenues and those subject to VAT excise. His Royal Highness also issued Edict 14 of 2019, restructuring the Infrastructure Cost Evaluation Commission. The edict stipulated the restructuring of the commission presided over by engineer Khalid Ahmed Al Ansari and the following membership. First, representative of His Royal Highness Prime Minister's Court, representative of His Royal Highness the First Deputy Prime Minister FDPM's Office, representative of Roads Affairs at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, representative of Sanitary Engineering Affairs at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, representative of Municipal Affairs at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, representative of Urban Planning Affairs at the Ministry 
Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Representative of Electricity Affairs at the Electricity and Water Authority, Representative of Water Affairs at the Electricity and Water Authority, Representative of the Ministry of Housing. This edict becomes effective from the date of its issuance and will be published in the official Gazette. Each of the above-mentioned authorities will nominate its representative member, whose rank shouldn't be less than a departmental director. Following the orders of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, first Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Civil Service Council, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to investigate a circulated letter signed by a number of employees at Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority to verify the intent of the defamation and identify any administrative irregularities or violations that do not comply with the regulations and provisions of the law. The Civil Service Council has decided to suspend those employees who have signed the circulated letter pending further investigation. The decision follows a review by the investigation committee led by the Minister of Interior Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The Civil Service Council also instructed the formation of disciplinary a committee in accordance with the provisions of the Kingdom's civil service law in order to take the necessary procedures based on the results of the investigation. Delegated by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa visited the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to offer condolences to the Governor of Riyadh Province, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the demise of His Royal Highness Prince Bandar bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali conveyed the condolences of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to the Governor of Riyadh Province. Praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace, recalling his contributions and role in serving his country. For his part, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bandar expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his kind sentiments, which reflect the depth of relations between the two countries, wishing the Prime Minister lasting good health and Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Ministry of Education has prepared to receive students from various educational stages in the beginning of the school year 2019-2020, including new students and those transferred from schools subject to partial or whole rehabilitation. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali al Nuaimi, conducted visits to a number of construction sites for schools in various governorates where he viewed the work progress. The Ministry of Education has prepared many buildings, laboratories and facilities facilities in preparation for the new school year in cooperation with the specialized authorities. The building will be prepared with all requirements to continue developmental projects and apply the electronic education system. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a meeting with the Chief Rabbi of Russia, Rabbi Beryl Lazar, as part of his visit to Moscow to enhance cooperation with the religious, academic, and research institutions in Russia in the field of peaceful coexistence. Sheikh Khalid briefed the Rabbi on the Bahraini experience in the field of peaceful coexistence, the consolidation of the values of fraternity and acceptance 
of others. He also briefed him on the main objectives and activities of the King Hamad Center, which stem from the directives and vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in spreading peace and rejecting hatred in all peoples and societies. Sheikh Khalid added that the King Hamad Center is concerned with representing all the components of Bahrain society to be a miniaturized image of the Bahraini policy in which minorities are equal to the rest of the country's citizens and meet all their living needs, noting His Majesty the King's keenness to provide an environment suitable for Jewish families in Bahrain. For his part, Rabbi Beryl praised His Majesty the King's steps towards peaceful coexistence and the rejection of division and hatred between different countries. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, met at the Russian capital of Moscow, the representative of the Patriarch of Antioch and all the East, and the Patriarch of Moscow and all Russia, the Most Reverend Nifan Saikali. Both sides reviewed ways of bolstering cooperation and exchanging experiences in the field of peaceful coexistence and interfaith dialogue. They also reviewed how to benefit from the Bahraini experience in the field of tolerance and peaceful coexistence among different sectors of society. Dr. Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks to Bishop Nifin Saikali of Philippopolis for the warm welcome, highlighting Bahrain's strides in promoting tolerance and peaceful coexistence between social segments. He cautioned against any politicization of societies, reiterating Bahrain's stance against exploiting religion to fuel crisis between people, building on a millennia-old civilization heritage and deep-rooted history. He underlined the crucial role of King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, which draws its objectives and activities from the Kingdom of Bahrain Declaration, advocating commitment to religion, patriotism and acceptance of others. Bishop Nifin Saikali of Philippopolis said tribute to His Majesty the King, Hailing the role in promoting peace and interfaith tolerance, keenness on places of worship and generous donations to churches and mosques. He commended the strenuous efforts exerted by the Kingdom of Bahrain to promote freedom of worship and dialogue between civilizations and religions, tolerance and peaceful coexistence and moderate policies. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Al Zayani, the concluding ceremony of the Technical Entrepreneur Program in its first edition was held, which aims to provide Bahrain IT students with the necessary training, knowledge, and relationships to encourage entrepreneurship in this field. The Minister noted that the patronage of the program comes within the government's direction for the Kingdom of Bahrain to be a regional technology platform in the Middle East. The program included field visits to supporting institutions who provide integrated services to individuals and companies represented in financial support and advisory programs, as well as marketing and quality improvement to be at the level of global projects. This program is uh, comprehensive. We try to cover uh, many aspects uh, in a very short period. Uh, by um, giving them a view about uh, the main initiatives in Bahrain like uh, Amazon for cloud ser service and FinTech uh, for financial services uh, plus the uh, business accelerators, uh, incubators uh, and how to become entrepreneur. Uh, that's a part of the program and the second uh, uh, part of the program is uh, to become more creative and to build your own uh, bro uh, project. So they went into uh, a training, how to uh, find the need, and from the need, uh, develop the idea, and from the idea, develop a concept, and then do the uh, uh, full product uh, with the design, 3D printed as well, يعني full, uh, uh, almost full business plan. Uh, so. From that, we can measure the success of the program, how much they learned, it will be there from their output. Through this entire experience, I went through different places, different people with different experiences that gave me an idea of what they went through, the tech 
that's coming to uh, uh, us, what we can use from it and what is being implemented already. So using this course, uh, more or less it brightened and opened up more doors for me to implement these technologies into other aspects. Uh, for example, my project is completely uh, regarding bringing technology and agriculture together. One of the places that we went to was InnoInt, where they taught us very basic understanding of 3D printing and 3D modeling. And through that, I used it to create a prototype model of what I want for my idea. Oh, as well as we've met with people from the Society of Artificial Intelligence in Bahrain that gave us an, a very brief understanding of in, uh, artificial intelligence and how we can implement it and use it for our needs.